I'm optimistic in that I've seen a big improvement and advancement in that area. But uh, I just hope it continues. The advancement. Yes, the advancement. Yes. And you see that, you said that earlier that there were some improvements in your profession, but not, uh, it still isn't what it should be for young African Americans. That's right. It yes. still isn't. Yes. And when you, what is the responsibility of an architect? The responsibility pertaining to the people, the people who are going to be in the structure that you design, the people who will have to live in the community where the structure is. What do you think is the primary responsibility of an architect? To design and carry through uh, architecture which Well, architecture which provides them with the safety of use, that it accommodates all of their needs in the, the building in, uh, in a manner and that satisfies the, the building codes. What about and the environment? around the building? Yes, the environment should be uh, a safe one. Yes. For example, with the malls that you have designed, I mean, some people have are very upset about malls because they feel that malls have created urban sprawl. What? Oh, really? <laughs> well, I mean, only in terms of what I've read. Uh, the people who have uh, been anti the constructions of malls. What do you think malls have done for the areas where you have designed your malls? And, and in terms of a positive uh, approach. Malls have provided people with a safe place to uh, shop and uh, also to exercise and walk around, especially in weather such as <laughs> yes. this when it's raining or storming or it's very cold to, you know, to go out and uh, move around. Yes. 